Hello everybody and welcome to the ATAG channel. Today we're going to look at an event that has been the talk of the town. Elon Musk slept in one of his factories under construction. Elon Musk is a name that has been on the news in recent years. PayPal, Tesla, and Starlink have been particularly high profile companies in recent years. The man is now worth $167 billion, and depending on when you watch this video, he could be very well worth even more. Despite all the five-star hotels he could sleep in, Tesla's CEO chooses to sleep in his factories. Not just from time to time either, but it's a practice he repeated regularly. This was particularly the case during the recent visit to the Gigafactory, under construction in Berlin for the production of his Tesla vehicles. This first factory in Europe has started producing vehicles. So, during his first trip to assess the progression of the factory while it was under construction, Mr. Musk chose to sleep inside this construction zone. Technically, he slept in the conference room, but the factory was not yet finished. Still, this is not unusual behavior for this hardworking man. He's been doing this for years. He once camped on the roof of Tesla's battery factory in Nevada Desert. In addition to the practical aspect, this has allowed him to provide media insight. He showed the CBS television channel the location of his camp on the roof of the Tesla factory in Fremont. This is made possible by the climate in California. When there's too much work, Elon Musk says he doesn't have time to go home, shower and change clothes, so he sleeps directly at his workplace. Saving time is the only reason he sleeps at work. He saves time on the way to work, time for small talk with the family, all of which can be used to advance. Moreover, it must be taken into account that this is part of particularly the defense period due to the major industrial and commercial developments to allow the scaling up of Tesla. On the other hand, he explains that he does not want to be one of those CEOs in an ivory tower, far removed from the difficulties faced by his employees. There is no doubt that his employees have to endure a lot to get Tesla where it is today. The company delivered nearly half a million cars in 2020, an astonishing achievement considering it was just a month away from bankruptcy just a few years ago. This success is a result of hard work by all the company's employees to mass produce and thus avoid disaster. In 2018, Tesla had planned to produce 5,000 Tesla Model 3s per week, but only managed to produce 800 per week in the first three months of this year. The main mistake is that Tesla relied too much on automation or too many robots too early. The result was that the slightest problem caused the entire assembly line to shut down. The human staff was also overworked and exhausted. According to a report in The Guardian, staff sometimes fainted at the factory because the pace was so infernal. In response to the article, Musk said he was very concerned about the health and safety of his employees. He noted that Tesla's safety record is improving significantly since then. However, soon after, Tesla was hit with another allegation of a high rate of injuries at the plant. So Musk reported with an email of the entire workforce, which was applauded by leadership experts. No words can express how much I care about your safety and well-being. It breaks my heart when someone gets hurt while building cars in doing their best to make Tesla successful, he said. He added that he would meet with each injured employee and go to the production line to perform the same task as he did. It's not clear if he actually met with the injured person, but his hands-on approach clearly demonstrated that he was willing to get right in the middle of the problems, solve them, and sleep on the plants. By helping the world transition to sustainable energy, Tesla aims to produce 20 million cars by 2030. It's 40 times what it produces in 2020. Tesla's policy is one of hard work. Elon Musk says that at times he's worked more than 120 hours a week. A work ethic he adopted early on, when he and his brother Kimball founded their first company, Zip2, which was a sort of internet version of Yellow Pages. He only had one computer at the time, so the website ran during the day while they coded at night. They also slept in the office because they didn't have an apartment. Fortunately, they could shower at the YMCA. He doesn't expect his employees to camp out at work, but he does expect to work them many hours there. In the factory, during the intensive production of Tesla Model 3, the staff worked up 100 hours per week. That's the equivalent of 14 hours a day for work, 7 days a week. His critics say he pushes his employees into burnout and exhaustion, to which Musk said there is no other way to meet production goals. Thanks to this exhausting episode, the company has bounced back and exceeded its delivery goals into the second half of 2019. Tesla is now the most valuable car company in the world, as its stock prices continues to soar. Speaking of soar, Musk's rocket company, SpaceX, is also soaring. The buzz around his success with Tesla has put the spotlight on his other ambition ventures like Starlink. Via SpaceX, he hopes to succeed with his other projects around the Starship system, to enable the first civilian orbital flight. 
Thus, he plans to send people to the moon and Mars. Even if the future of his company looks bright, the CEO says that this is not the time to slow down. He once explained that if someone works 50 hours a week and you work 100, you'll get twice as much done in a year and be much further ahead. This workaholic ethic is not everyone's taste, however. Perhaps this mentality is why on Glassdoor reviews, only 65% of Tesla employees say that they're satisfied working there. That's not to say that people don't want to be hired at Tesla. They just realize that it's demanding workplace. Musk himself has admitted that there's much easier places to work, but nobody ever changed the world with 40 hours a week. So he'll probably continue to sleep on the couch in the conference room. As a joke, a YouTuber named Ben Solon started a GoFundMe to get Musk a bigger couch. A furniture company caught wind of this and offered one for free. The money raised ended up going to charity. When do you think Tesla will be able to produce 20 million cars a year? Do you think it'll happen by 2030 or later? Hard work and the race for time at all costs is not the mentality that everyone likes. Yet that type of work ethic is at the root of the American dream of success and upward mobility. And it's not surprising that it doesn't seem more shocking than that. Especially since the results are there. With several companies valued at millions, even billions. Elon Musk has today a beautiful financial prosperity in front of him. Far from near bankruptcy. If you enjoyed our topic of the day, feel free to like this video. To enjoy videos of the same kind, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, leave us suggestions for future topics. Activate that notification bell to be among the first to see our next video. We hope to see you soon on ATEC.